All right, welcome back, guys. So today we're going to start off with some strength work. We're going to do a five-three-one deadlift, and what we're going to have you do is we're going to we're going to encourage you to warm up properly. Uh, obviously, when you go for a maximal effort lift on the deadlift, you want to be very, very warm. You don't want to have any any cold tissue pulling at maximal effort. So we're going to do uh, you know a few reps, really light. Let's say hypothetically your one rep max on the deadlift right now is three seventy-five. If that were the case, I would say, you know, maybe start out with 135 and do some reps with 135, maybe do some with 185, and then, you know, kind of work up to it where you kind of get your, your central nervous system prepped and primed for that heavy lifting and make sure your tissues are nice and warm. And then you're going to go heavy and hopefully if your PR was 375, you're going to get 385 today. But regardless, make sure that it's a safe lift, make sure you're properly warmed up and make sure you're not rounding your back. That's key. Okay, so once we get that 5-3-1 deadlift done, we're going to do a 12-minute AMRAP. The 12-minute AMRAP is going to involve three movements, and drum roll please, it's going to be five push jerks at 135 pounds for men, 95 pounds for women, seven ring dips, and then nine push-ups. So we're going to do this for 12 minutes, and it's going to be challenging to say the least. You're probably thinking, wow, my triceps and shoulders are going to be very, very tired at the end of that. That is true, they are going to be very tired, but I want you to stay tight, use proper form on everything you do, and really focus on technique. So, let's start with the push jerk. There's a couple key points that I want to hit on the push jerk. One is you want to make sure that you're not tilting your torso forward when you load. That's really key, that's fundamental, and it's kind of a, a common fault in the, in the push jerk and push press. So make sure you load with a completely vertical torso. Your shoulders should be right over your hips and your hips should be right over your heels on every load. The other common fault that I see a lot of times, and we want to try not to do this, is we don't, want to, we don't want to dip really, really low. It doesn't take much of a dip when you dip drive in the push jerk. You just need a little quick dip drive and you know, look at, look at Piros Demos, look at, uh, look at the best Olympic weightlifters in the world. These guys are not dipping very low. So we don't want to see you going halfway into a squat to do a push jerk. It's a very quick dip drive. And, uh, and so, you know, if you're doing it properly, your shoulders are going to be right above your hips. You're going to dip drive and you're going to drop under the bar and your feet are going to hit the ground simultaneously as your elbows lock out. Okay. So I don't want to see press out if possible. As you get tired, we may be seeing some press out and that's fine, but, but absolutely no tilting forward and absolutely no deep dipping. Okay. Now on the ring dips, uh, really, really common fault that I see on those is a lot of times I don't see people's hips moving up and down with their shoulders. Okay. So you can see here where my hips are almost completely stationary in this little shot and my shoulders are moving all the way down to a full range of motion. That is in fact cheating the movement. That's no go. If you want to call this RX, I want to see those hips moving up and down just as much as those shoulders are. Okay. So it's going to take some shoulder mobility to get down there, but um, I want to see those shoulders below the elbows, full range of motion ring dips and bam, it's going to look good. All right. Last movement, the push-up. The push-up is probably the most commonly cheated uh, movement in all the world. Um, not just CrossFit gyms, but um, go into a, you know, a Globo gym somewhere and watch people do push-ups. It's a very cheated movement. I'll just say that the push-up has been abused. Very, very abused. And we here are going to treat the push-up like the beautiful and wonderful exercise that it deserves to be treated like. So we're going to make sure that we do full range of motion. We're going to lock out our elbows at the top. We're going to touch our chest at the bottom and we're going to make sure that we don't do some kind of crazy squat thrust thing where our, our hips are slamming into the ground, but our chest is still three or four inches above the ground like this. Um, and we're going to make sure that we're not uh, doing what I like to call the hunt and peck where you stick your butt up in the air, kind of look like a bird, you know, picking some bird seed off the ground. Right, you want that chest hitting and you want to hold that plank the whole time. Okay, should be a really fun workout and uh, I guess I'll see you at the gym.